Hey, what is up guys? This is Johnny Geiger. Today I'm gonna teach you a very good looking and easy skateboard trick, the Casper stall. I decided to separate my trick tips in beginner, advanced and pro. And it's gonna be mainly flat ground trick tips. And I thought the Casper stall would be a sweet opportunity to start this off. This trick origins in freestyle skateboarding, has been around for like 40 or 50 years. And as said, this is a beginner's trick tip. And the good thing about it is, you don't have to know how to ollie to learn this trick. Because in my opinion, ollie is a very decent skateboard trick. Like it takes a lot of time to learn and this trick is supposed to take you way less time. So I'm gonna try my best to explain to you guys how to do this trick in a second language. Yeah, hopefully you end up learning this trick. First of all, let's have a look at the foot positioning. So the foot positioning for this trick is very important. You're gonna place your front foot at uh, this edge and your back foot is gonna leap over the tail. At least your toes should be hanging over the edge. Even better if you place your heel at the edge of the other side. So since you are probably a beginner watching this, um, you should make sure before you start learning this that you can stand on your skateboard, like that you can keep balance and also make sure that you can stand in this position. Uh, you gotta make sure if you wanna learn this trick switch or regular. Like usually it's kind of the same when you decide uh, what stance you wanna ride. There's just some version of this trick that naturally feels better. I decided to ride regular, but for some reason this trick just felt natural for me to do it uh, goofy. You can make this decision by just locking in to the Casper stall, uh, try to lean backwards, try to elevate your board, put a lot of pressure on your back foot and just try to elevate it, lean back, try to do it in switch and regular and whatever feels better. You're gonna go for that one. Another tip for this trick, since you stand on your tail, you wanna make sure that it is grippy so you don't slip off. Uh, in this trick tip, I had a brand new setup. So I just went to the bench and scratched my tail. Never done this before, but for this trick tip, I did it to make my board more grippy. Now let's have a look at the actual movement, what is happening on the Casper stall to get it done. You're gonna put all the pressure on your toes on your big toe especially. So while you're gonna do this, you're gonna elevate your back foot and you're gonna try to shove it back. You can do this in different ways. You can try like to kind of grab your tail with your toes. Um, there are several ways to do it. I just prefer to kind of shove it back. So you're gonna put pressure on your toes, a lot of pressure and hang it over the edge. At the same time, your front foot is gonna go underneath and try to keep the board uplifted with your front foot. You gotta repeat this multiple times till you get familiar with the movement. And there are like two ways to get out of this trick. Like there are actually like more than two ways. The easiest way is probably just uh, elevate your back foot as well and elevate the toes of your front foot and push it back. You're gonna jump backwards, lock into Casper stall, and gonna jump forward. From the beginning, I prefer to add a kind of shove it variation. So if you wanna do the shove it variation, you're just gonna try to shove it back with your back foot. At the same time, when you elevate your front foot, you're gonna push it forward in this direction. So, bam. When you start learning this trick, you don't have to keep your board uplifted. You can just lock in like this, uh, keep your heels on the flat ground. You don't have to put any pressure on it or whatever, just to get familiar with the trick. After a while, you can go for the uplifted version. It's just gonna take you some time, so be patient with this trick. It will feel good eventually. The right kind of flat ground is also very important when you start learning this trick. So make sure you get some kind of rough or sticky flat ground. I usually prefer to skate like on slippery flat ground, but especially on that trick, you need like a sticky flat ground. Otherwise your board is just gonna slip away. One more time, let's have a look at what you gotta do on this trick every single step. Make sure you stand on your skateboard, you're gonna keep balance, you're gonna get ready to do the trick. Uh, you're gonna slightly bend your knees, make yourself ready to roll your board backwards, jump a little backwards and lock into the Casper stall. 
It's very important to lean backwards a lot. Your front foot is fully extended as you see on the picture and your back foot leg should be banded. So lean backwards a lot, a lot, a lot. And try to keep your board uplifted with your front foot. This is really important. So you need that full extension. Now to get out of the trick, you're gonna do this kind of shove it rotation, jump into the air and land on your bolts. I explained to you guys two ways, whatever you prefer, go for that one. I'm gonna repeat myself one more time. Be patient with this trick. It takes some time. Skateboarding is not easy. You just gotta practice, practice all day. And at some point this trick is gonna feel super comfortable and it's gonna be so much fun to do. I promise. So that was it. Now you know everything you need to know about Casper stalls. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any further suggestions, let me know in the comment section, especially for beginners. Um, I try to make like a really decent and detailed trick tip version. So have a great day guys. Namaste.